Hi guys, so I was uh, walking around a local music store checking out amps here and there, you know, and I came across this little tiny um, crate amp, and it's a, uh, it turns out it was a stereo chorus amp with two 8-inch speakers, and I thought, uh-oh. 8-inch speakers. That will probably sound like a car radio. And as it turns out, that's not the case at all. In fact, I was quite um, surprised. But it's very small, very light uh, for what it is. You know, it's a stereo amp. It has two amps powering each of those speakers, a stereo chorus, reverb. It even has a distortion channel. I've actually never used the distortion channel. Uh, in any case, let's take a look at it. Okay. So, there it is. It's the one with the orange cable plugged in right there. And well, much to my surprise, uh, turns out it sounds very similar to a Roland um, Jazz Chorus 120. Uh, very similar, in fact. The sound is quite amazing. Now, I have to say, it does have this kind of persistent um, hiss, background hiss. In fact, guess what? Just very much like the Roland Jazz Chorus. Those amps have a background hiss. Um, it's not that noticeable, uh, but it's not purely silent either. Um, and I did record with it, and those tracks will be on uh, volume 295, and I'll play them here in the video. They'll be on my 295th album. And overall thoughts. Um, these can be had for a uh, hundred dollars or less um, easily, you know. And I'll tell you, it's really not a bad amp, and it's surprisingly loud. Uh, and here I've got it here, right? Uh, and you'll hear this chorus. guitar.
sound, the stereo, you know, chorus sound. Um, it's, yeah, it's... kind of sound. Um. So you can uh, obviously adjust the settings and so on. Um. is the crate um, G40C the poor man's uh, rolling jazz chorus and if you can pick one of these up for a hundred bucks um, I highly recommend it really um, if you can get over that hiss and you know you can you can use the equalizer and get the hiss lower and so on uh, but it is there um, you know if you're doing a recording, any, uh, you know, no noise reduction will get rid of that totally. And when you're playing, you know, it's pretty much non-existent. You don't really hear it. Um, yeah, I really enjoy that amp. It's a lot of fun for such a cheap amp and to get some really good sounds. Uh, definitely approaching the, the jazz chorus, you know, and that's a thousand dollar amp, really. Uh, you know, especially the new series that's come out, um, and it's not much different to this, really. I mean, a little better, of course, but um, this gets you the sound pretty close. Uh, definitely, if you're sitting around just playing, bedroom playing, or that kind of thing, you know, um, a great way to you know experiment with different chords and things because it's real clear as you heard um, so highly recommended and this is an app I you know uh, I just came across and I thought man 100 bucks that's really so cheap you know for for what it is you know, for what you get for that hundred dollars tone wise um, they had other crate amps there but um, I didn't really like the sound of them Oh, uh, and I knew here what I was kind of going for was the stereo chorus guitar sound. And, uh, obviously, you know, if you want a, an amp that's, you know, doing Fender clean and so on and so on, that's probably not the amp for you. Uh, I mean, it does really one specific thing, and that's the chorus guitar sound what it does well. Uh, so I'm very impressed and I thought man little 8 inch speakers would sound like a car radio and so on. Uh, not at all. In fact it's quite big. In fact it's quite uh, yeah quite a big sound for such a tiny amp. Great to you know just haul around and things because it's so light. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely worthwhile. Uh, now I think on mine it has a distorted channel, uh, but you either have to hook up a foot switch or or the switch that I have doesn't work. The the front panel channel select switch doesn't work, which is fine because I'm sure the distortion is. Probably, you know, I'm 99% sure that it's terrible. <laughs> As most of those, you know, back in the day were. Um, yeah. 
but this obviously was in response to the popularity of the rolling jazz choruses. Okay, um, here I'm recording. Uh, this will be for my 295th album. And this time out I'm using first uh, my staple amps, uh, big old Albion there. Right there. That's an AG82 DFX. C little chorus amp. So I'm recording with that on the right channel. 